welcome to your weekend reading for November 2nd to the 4th. November 2nd to the 4th. I hope you are doing absolutely amazing. I'd like to take a moment to thank all of you that have been booking personal readings and have been um, donating to the channel. You are furthering its development and I greatly appreciate you. I also would like to say welcome to both my old and new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And for those of you that have been liking, commenting, and sharing, I read all of your comments. Um, even though I don't have time to respond to them all, I do read them. Okay. Using the Hobbit Tarot today. I, I like I've told every sign that I've been doing this for. I have my happy on. You know, you have to be your source of your own happiness. I am super happy and feeling a sense of adventure, and so I was really drawn to this deck for today. Really drawn to it. All right, Aries, November second through the fourth, please. Aries. We have the Three of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful. I promise that's not from my sense of adventure. <laughs> that's from your energy, Aries. All right, four more. We have the Moon. You might be dealing with the Pisces this weekend. The Six of Cups. Oh my goodness. Six of Swords. And the Knight of Coins. <gasps> Ace of Cups. I got chills because I know that there's a lot of Pisces dealing with Aries right now. I saw that in the comments, so I have a feeling I've got some Pisces cross watchers who also went. <gasps> so my sense of wonderment was for you. I am currently not dealing with an Aries, just noting that. Um, so we have the Three of Wands, and I'm going to have to pause. It seems like my dog needs me, so I'll be right back. The Moon. Six of Cups, Six of Swords, Knight of Coins, and the Ace of Cups. Alright, I'm pausing. There'll be like a two second delay for you, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. The dog is settled. So, as I was saying, you know, the moon came up for Pisces, and when I did Pisces reading the other day, I saw there was a lot of a lot of Pisces dealing with Aries based on comments. So if you're cross watching, let's see what we got here. <laughs> so our overall energy for the weekend is the Ace of Cups and that's a new beginning in love. So that could be a fresh restart or it could be brand new love. New beginning in love and happiness, romance being in the air, kindness, intimacy, um, you know, being kind to yourself, being kind to others. You know, when this Ace of Cups comes, it's love, affection, and emotional contentment. A deep connection. A very deep connection. It looks like it's with somebody who, Aries, you've been thinking about. Because with the Six of Cups, that tends to be reminiscing about the past. This could be a reconciliation with somebody. Could be somebody from your past. Past could be yesterday, last week, last month, last year. Um, so you're reconnecting with somebody. Now, we have this Three of Wands at the beginning of the weekend, right? So the Three of Wands has to do with... You know, exploring the unknown, moving forward towards the future. In most decks, it's, you know, your ships are coming in. It's something you've put a lot of hard work into, and you're waiting to see something occur guiding you to, towards your future. You have two cards here that are moving into the future. The Three of Wands and the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is when you leave the past behind and you're being being 
led to a better place. You're turning your back on any hurts and moving towards a brighter future. The Three of Wands is, is enthusiastically embracing the mystery of the unknown and waiting for that direction to move in the future. Now with the Moon card, which is Pisces energy, with the Moon card for anybody other than a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio who would understand intuitively unknown places and moving towards unexpected journeys, for everybody else, the Moon card is more of a very, very powerful card of mystery, confusion. Sometimes it brings anxiety because you're moving towards your future, which we see that with the Three of Wands, the Six of Swords, and also with the Moon. You're taking steps and moving forward, but your path is being illuminated step by step. Sometimes tiptoe by tiptoe, you know, I mean, you're just, you're just, you're moving forward without really seeing where you're going or understanding where you're going, and that can bring a great deal of confusion. So this love interest of yours, Aries, um, it seems really exciting because you're moving forward into something that you're really not too sure where it's going to go yet with this love interest, and it is bringing some confusion and anxiety to you because... You just don't know. You don't know where you're going. But it's with somebody whom you have memories, whether a few memories or a lot of memories. It's somebody with who you have some sort of history with, whether that's last week, last month, you know, last year. You're remembering your time with them fondly. And so you're letting go of any past hurts associated with other things or any past hurts associated with this person in order to move forward into the future. In order to move towards this new this new love relationship. It's not necessarily a relationship, but new new love. And then we have the Knight of Coins here, which is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles moves extremely slow, doesn't open up and let others in. So you're feeling very, very guarded about your emotions with regards to this person, Aries. And you're holding your emotions back. You're moving at kind of a snail's pace because of this confusion. This confusion is causing you to move very slowly because you want to be sure of the direction you're heading in. And none of that's really being illuminated to you right now. You know you're moving forward, but you don't know how or where. You've got three cards moving forward. And you're slowing it down. You're slowing down the pace. You're like taking it a step back, a notch back. I don't really see anything else in there. We're going to take a uh, Romance Angels card for you. November 2nd through the 4th. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. You know what? I'm going to take one more just because, just because you're so uncertain about the direction you're moving in. So let's see if we can get a little bit more advice for you. Aries, November 2nd through the 4th, 2018. Aries, November 2nd to the 4th, 2018. Aries, November 2nd to the 4th, 2018. Alright, I felt pretty certain we needed another one. 
Please give me more advice for that one. I actually turned away from this card, Aries. This is interesting. So this was, this card that just popped out for you is actually at the bottom of the deck earlier and I almost took it and I thought, you know, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shuffle. It came out anyway. So it says express your love. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to say I love you or whatever, but it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, you know, reach out to this person, Aries, because it looks like it has the potential to bring you tremendous emotional fulfillment. And it looks like it could be a very deep connection, one that is filled with a lot of happiness, a lot of affection, and like I said, emotional fulfillment. So make the effort, you know, make the gesture, give this person a call, ask them out, whatever the case may be, and, um, you know, see where it goes. You don't have to worry about the end goal at this point. Just enjoy the journey right now. Even though it's not very clear, enjoy the journey. Take it at a snail's pace. If that's what you need, move at a snail's pace. I'm sure whomever it is that you're connecting with, since this is so beautiful, it's going to be perfectly fine with your moving slow at the moment, Aries. So, um, enjoy your weekend. It looks absolutely beautiful for you. And I hope you have a great deal of fun and a great deal of, of happiness over the weekend. If this did not resonate with you, please check your birth chart and take a look at your moon rising and Venus signs. And if you need a personal reading, visit my website, empressmontero.com. Please be sure to subscribe before you leave. Like, comment, and share. And have an absolutely beautiful day. See you soon.